The tense debate over migrant housing in the city taking center stage now in Midtown. Migrants and advocates protesting outside the Watson Hotel on West 57th Street, calling for improved living conditions. Yeah, Pixel 11's Kieran Dillon is live there in Hell's Kitchen with the very latest. Kieran, good morning. What's the situation? Hi, good. Hi, good morning, Dan and Hazel. Yeah, a very, very tense situation here in Hell's Kitchen and a developing story really throughout the morning. Every uh, half hour or so, we've been able to provide you with an update. But what we can tell you right now is that behind me here um, at the Watson Hotel, there are still people sleeping. It's 9 o'clock. People are still sleeping in. Men are still sleeping in um, sleeping bags here. There are tents. There's also food set up here for these migrants who uh, were staying at the Watson Hotel, but they were sent to the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal yesterday. They thought the conditions were absolutely horrible. They came back, and so they say it's better for them to stay here and to sleep on the street than to go to the terminal. Now, just about 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, another bus left here, the Watson Hotel, uh, to go to the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal with about 20 more uh, migrants. And yesterday, this is where a stand-up really erupted here at the hotel. It happened after the migrants, as I said, say the city sent a bus uh, with the migrants who were living here to the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal. The Watson here is one of 77 facilities that the city is using to house migrants. The mayor announced uh, a few weeks ago that the terminal is supposed to house about a thousand or so single male migrants going forward, and that is because uh, the transition is supposed to allow the Watson to allow uh, to host asylum seeking seeking families with children instead of these uh, male asylum seekers, single male asylum seekers. But. One of the asylum seekers yesterday who got on a bus and who went to the terminal uh, provided us with this video. He said when he arrived at the terminal yesterday, he found the living conditions there to be absolutely awful. He actually uh, compared it to the condition of being in a jail or being in a prison. And last night, he wasn't the only one who thought that. And last night, uh, many of the migrants who had went there, well, they came back here to the hotel hoping to get back inside, but they were reportedly denied entry. He took the bus, he was placed on the bus to the, uh, the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal. There's one security gate, then there's a second security gate. Beyond that are the beds. And the f there was only food from 6 to 8 o'clock. And if the water ran out, then there was no more water. The city, I mean, the city is trying the, the, the same failed plan over and over again. Eric Adams failed with the Orchard Beach encampment. He failed with the Randall's Island encampment. And now he's doing the exact same encampment on Red Hook. It's worse, supposedly. Apparently, the beds are so close together, they're literally foot to head, foot to head. Four bathrooms, 4,000 beds. Now, we're told yesterday night's uh, standoff was organized by local groups who have been trying to stop the city's efforts uh, to support the asylum seekers. Meantime, as for the city, we did receive a statement this morning. It said, in part, more than 42,000 asylum seekers have arrived in New York City since last spring, and we continue to surpass our moral obligations as we provide asylum seekers with shelter, food, health care, education, and a host of other services. The facilities at a Brooklyn Cruise Terminal will provide the same services as every other humanitarian relief center in the city, and the scheduled relocations to the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal this weekend took place as planned. Now, a city spokesperson also added um, that, you know, the city is sort of at its end. It's what the mayor has been saying for weeks, that it's a breaking point, and the city really needs federal and state resources going forward immediately. Yesterday, uh, that's how much of a dire situation this is, and that's this really here is a representation of that boiling point situation. Now, we also know um, that this hotel here, they're not responding to requests for information. I tried to go in earlier this morning. They didn't respond. Uh, they didn't let me in, really even take any information from me, and um, we've been trying to call their line. The only thing it says is that they're not uh, taking any guests right now. So again, this is a developing situation. Now, advocates also tell me that the people inside of this hotel, the migrants who've yet to leave, well, they're being told day by day that, okay, you know, you are going to be um, given a time and a date where a bus will come for you, an MTA bus will come for you, and you are expected to get on and go to the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal. But right now, actually, uh, this is developing, as I said, Dan and Hazel, we're seeing that migrants are coming out. And so there are some that are agreeing to go to the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal. They're getting on the bus. Uh, like I said, there was another bus that came 30 minutes ago. There's two buses here. So, uh, you know, we are expecting throughout the day for more and more of these migrants to go. But again, there are many that are resisting. They're saying they're gonna, they'd rather sleep in tents here uh, on West 57th Street than go to the terminal.